Hey guys, it's me back uh, with another Raw review. Uh, this one was a pretty good Raw, I must say. It was way better than last week's, in my opinion. Uh, this has been, a, it was actually a, a, one of their good Raws in the last couple of weeks. I can't remember the last time they've actually had a really good Raw like this one. Uh, it started out with a Piper's Pit. Roddy Roddy Piper was there and he had his little Piper's Pit going. Uh, he had John Cena uh, in his uh, Piper's Pit. Uh, basically trying to convince him to tell the fans how he feels. Um, you know, the energy, he said the crowd is just booing him now, and he needs to tell the crowd how he feels, and Cena's just telling that he's in a happy place, that the boos, you know, motivate him and whatnot, and, you know, the kids and all this stuff, you know, always get him through the boos and all that, which... I guess it makes sense, but man, they are so teasing us with a fucking heel turn. If this wasn't a tease right right here, uh, I don't know what this was. This had to have been a tease. He was only on Raw for this segment. He didn't wrestle. He didn't do any of that kind of shit. It was just this, you know. He's just, you know, saying he was in a good place. You know, he loves the booze. Uh, it's part of the WWE energy, he said. Uh... He said he, uh, Piper ended up slapping him. Uh, he said, do you feel the energy? Uh, he shook his head and just, uh, he took his hat off. Well, actually, he, uh, Roddy Piper gave him his ring, his Hall of Fame ring. He sent one Hall of Famer to a future Hall of Famer. You know, you need to tell him. He ended up slapping him. Uh, Cena gave him his ring back, took his hat off. He nodded his head no and left the ring. So I, I have a feeling that we're going to see more teases like this, possibly. Um, I just, I don't know where they're going with this. I hope it's a heel turn. I hope that something, he just gets so frustrated and he just till, turns heel. Maybe he turns on uh, Zack Ryder. That would be, if he turned on Zack Ryder, that would be an instant heel turn. He'd be hated. Uh because, you know, Zack Ryder is hot right now until, you, you know, everybody gets tired of him. But, uh, I'm saying right now, if, if he turns on, they, Zack Ryder would be the best guy to turn on right now because he's so over with the crowd. CM Punk, yes. But, you know, not a lot, you know, CM Punk's kind of 50-50, you know. Some people like him, some people don't. Some people would rather like Cena than uh, CM Punk. But I think if he turned on Ryder, he, everybody would just hate him. But it was a good segment. I'm wondering where they're going to go with this. Has me very interested. I'm just curious where they're going to go uh, next week uh, and forward on. Um, after that, we had Miz versus Joe Mo, John Morrison. Looks like that will be his last match at WWE with the rumors and everything going on. Uh, pretty much uh, right before uh, John Morrison got to the ring, he was, there he was doing his little ring entrance. He got taken out. By the Miz, uh, Miz hit him in the back. I think with the the pipe, he may have just knocked him down. Hit him with the pipe. He attacked his uh, ankle. Uh, they still ended up having a match. John Morrison was slipping around everywhere. Uh, he ended up uh, doing his finisher up on the uh, top of the entrance, just like he did the R Truth. So it looks like uh, they're that's them, you know, taking John Morrison out of the show or whatever out of the picture if you like to say uh, I'm guessing he's not gonna come back uh, rumors are saying that he's not he's even having some kind of uh, I think blog to where you can thank him or some shit like that so it doesn't look like he's coming back um, you know after the match we had another Miz promo which was pretty good he said last week it was our truth this week was John Morrison next week who knows so it looks like he's going on with some kind of crazy Tear just taking out people, which I guess is believable, but it is the Miz. Um, he ain't the strongest and biggest guy in the world, but right now he's doing perfect, terrific work right now in the ring and on the mic. But uh, yeah, it was just your basic match, I guess. Your basic take someone out because we don't need him no more, or he's leaving. So who knows what's gonna happen with John Morrison? He may end up on TNA. May end up on ROH, which I think would be a better move for him to go to ROH, but what do I know? Uh, after that, we had a Divas match, which was a piece of shit. I'm not even going to talk about it, because it's a piece of shit Divas match. We still didn't get any Brodus Clay. 
Supposedly he's going to be there next week. John Lauren Itis is keeping him for next week. He thinks him being more pissed off is going to make him do more of a tear in, in the WWE. I guess. You know, I guess maybe they think people are viewing in to see him, which I, I am. I mean, I would like to see him uh, back. I know a lot of people on my Twitter feed were you know pissed off that he didn't show up. So maybe they're uh, teasing the, the fans with that. So hopefully next week finally we'll see Brodus Clay on Raw. After that we had Ziggler versus Orton. And my goodness we had another pay-per-view quality match. Oh my gosh. Uh, quick question. Other than him wrestling Mason Fuckhead, how many bad matches has Ziggler had in the last year? You know, I can't, I can't name any. You know, uh, I don't really count the Mason fuckhead matches because Mason Ryan just makes those matches horrible. But I haven't seen Ziggler in a bad match all year. He's been performing his ass off out there. Um, it's just, anyways, back to the match. It was a great match. <clears throat> uh, Wade Barrett was on commentary. Uh, he ended up going on the apron. Distracting Orton, Orton drop kicked him off the apron, and then uh, Ziggler did his move, uh, his finisher onto Orton and got the win. Uh, that's another Orton putting over uh, talent. I like to see that. It's always nice to see the guy who's one of the top faces in the WWE uh, letting someone get over on him. That's always a plus. Uh, it was just a great match. Uh, they're doing a solid. Uh, job building up this uh, feud between Barrett and Orton. Uh, should be a good match. I'm pretty sure they're going to wrestle at TLC pay-per-view, so I'm pretty sure that would be a pretty good match. But yeah, man, this... I'm, the, the Punk match was better, but this one wasn't really far off. This one was a really good match. Uh, they teased a lot of finishes. Uh, it was just a good match. Uh, after that, we had a little Daniel Bryan promo. Uh, basically, just you know, Cole was calling him a liar for cashing in on SmackDown and not waiting for WrestleMania. Just degrading him and Ben O'Brien uh, defending himself. Uh, Mark Henry ended up coming out saying that Daniel Bryan has no chance of beating him because they face each other uh, tonight, actually on SmackDown in a cage match and I'm hoping Daniel Bryan doesn't win. I'm hoping Mark Henry ends up ch stays the champ. Uh, yeah, basically Daniel Bryan ended up walking up to Mark Henry saying he's gonna beat him and he kicked him in his foot. Basic, basic uh, trying to promote SmackDown for tomorrow night and more people to watch it which I think a lot of people are gonna tune in not only because Mick Foley's on there but SmackDown has been very good the last couple of months and you could tell by the ratings being so uh, good so yeah I think uh, you should see a solid rating out of this Smackdown, uh, this live Smackdown looking forward to it. Uh, after that we had a Ryder versus Swagger, Ryder won it was a raw right match you know, back and forth. Is Swagger the new John Morrison now? because my goodness he looks like he's always getting squashed or he's putting someone else over uh, I can't ever remember the last time he won a match. Uh, I'm sure it hasn't been as long as John Morrison. I know for sure it hasn't been that, that long. I think the last person he beat was Santino. I mean, Jesus Christ. What is up with that? But, uh, yeah, Ryder is super over right now with the crowd. Everybody was cheering for him. So looks like we might see a U.S. title rematch at TLC possibly. Who knows? After that, we had the main event. CM Punk versus Del Rio for the World Championship. Uh, Laurinaitis added a stipulation that CM Punk, uh, if got disqualified, he would lose his title. Because uh, Otonga said that he would probably swerve some kind of way to get disqualified so he can keep his belt. Uh, it was a really good match. I think this match was better than the one on the pay-per-view. Uh, teased a lot of finishes. Uh, Del Rio turn, took the turnbuckle pad off of it, off the term, top turnbuckle during the match. So uh, at the end of the match, uh, Ricardo was distracting the ref because Del Rio was gonna throw him, uh, I guess, onto the onto the exposed turnbuckle. 
Uh, Punk reversed it, did his finisher onto the turnbuckle, and pinned him one, two, three. And he retained the belt. <clears throat> so now what are they going to do? Who is he going to face? Uh, I think they're going to have a rematch at TLC. I think Laurinaitis is going to say, you know, either Laurinaitis is going to strip him for the belt for cheating, which I hope he doesn't, or he is going to give Del Rio a rematch because of how he won. Uh, I'm pretty sure one of the two is going to happen. But uh, we shall find out next week. But, yeah, everything uh, out of this Raw was really good. I did never really not enjoyed anything other than that fucking piece of shit Divas match, which was god-awful. And guess who was wrestling? Kelly Kelly. Wow. What a fucking shocker. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, this is a shorter video out of ones I've done, and it's a good Raw, and I'm surprised I'm only talking not very long like I usually do. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, I didn't get that many views on my last video, so it's kind of like, kind of, kind of, a little bit losing motivation to do these videos. But, I do have people who do watch them, so I got to keep them coming. Um, again, thanks for watching. Please comment. Please subscribe. Uh, yeah, please comment. Me, my God. If you're going to at least watch my video and spend 11 minutes of your time watching my uh, my video, please comment. You know, It would be nice. But uh, other than that, uh, y'all have a good one, and uh, we'll see you next week.